Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to uh, discuss two special instruction in 8085 that is SHLD and LHLD. Coming to the first one that is SHLD, it stands for store H and L register direct. So basically, we will hear copy the content or we can say we will store the content of HL into some specified memory location. The syntax for this instruction is SHLD 16 bit address. The size of this instruction is 3 byte and the addressing mode is register direct addressing mode now we will discuss how this instruction is stored in the memory so for this i am taking an example so suppose the shld instruction is stored at a memory location 2000H. So at the memory location 200H, the hex code of SHLD will be stored. So the hex code of SHLD is 22H. This is the hex code. In the next memory location that is 2001H, the lower byte of the address will be stored. So 30 will be stored here and in the next memory location that is 2002H, the higher byte of the address will be stored. So 43 will be stored here. So this is how the instruction is stored in the memory. Now we will come to the functionality of SHLD instruction. I will take the same example SHLD 4330H. So uh, before the instruction suppose the content of HL register is 01H and FFH respectively. This is before execution of the instruction. Now, after the execution of this instruction, the content of register L will be stored at memory location specified in the instruction. So, at the memory location 4330H, the content of L that is FFH will be stored and in the next memory location that is 4331H the content of H will be stored. So here 01H will be stored. Now we will discuss the second instruction that is LHLD instruction. It stands for load the HL register direct. So it means here we will st store the data at a specified memory location in the register HL. So, this, uh, the syntax for this instruction is LHLD 16-bit address. 
and the length of this instruction or the size of the instruction is 3 byte the addressing mode is register direct addressing mode now we will discuss how this instruction is stored in the memory to explain this i will take an example suppose lhld 2050h this uh, instruction is stored in the memory location in a similar fashion to that of shld instruction so suppose the memory location where the instruction is stored is 2000h so at the location 200h the hex code of shld is stored so the hex code of shld is 2a now in the next memory location that is 2001h the lower byte of the address will be stored so 50H will be stored at 2001H. Then in the next memory location that is 2002H, the higher byte of the address will be stored. So 20 will be stored here. So this is how the instruction is stored in the memory. Now we will come to the functionality of the instruction and I will take the same example that is LHLD 2050H. So as I have told here the, the content of the memory location specified here will be copied to register L and the content of the next memory location will be copied to register H. So suppose before executing this instruction, The data contained at memory location 2050H is 2AH and suppose the data contained in the next memory location that is 2051H is 3BH. Then after the execution of this instruction, The content of 2050 will be stored in register L. So now my L register will contain the data 2AH and the content of the next location that is 2051 will be copied to register H. So now my H will contain the data 3BH. So this is how LHLD instruction and L SHLD instruction work. Uh, one common point is there for SHLD and LHLD instruction that is both these instruction do not affect the flag register. So with this we have discussed these two instructions. In case you have any doubt you can write that in the comment section. Thank you for watching this video.